Greetings, 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 everybody here on Instagram. Those of you who, when I load this to YouTube, everybody on all of the platforms, blessings to you. Tanika Maria here. I give folks a few more moments to, to get on the broadcast, those that are here live on Instagram. And just blessings to you on this beautiful, beautiful Monday morning, mo Monday afternoon. I'm broadcasting or streaming live from Durham, North Carolina, and I am Tanika Maria. You're all about getting real, being healed, and moving forward, moving forward in emotional wholeness, peace, and clarity. And I coach and counsel high achieving women of purpose, women of, of faith on how to move forward and to be healthy for love again after going through transition, broken relationships, all kinds of dynamics and situations that sort of leave us in a place where we're not actively doing our purpose, where we're not fe feeling fruitful, where we're stuck, and especially when it comes to matters of the heart. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I am uh, building up at the end of this month in a few days, I will be hitting my 50th birthday. And as part of that, I wanted to share my journey because last year, last year was a little bit rough. Last year, was definitely rough, right? And in in last year, I broke an engagement. Yeah. And I want and this is part 2. So I'm going to make this video short and sweet. This is part 2 of what it took to for me to heal and not just bounce back, but bounce forward from a broken engagement. So I won't be here before you long, but I want to share with you really quick what it took for me to really get real, be healed and move on after breaking up with someone. Okay, we thought we were going to be married. I had a ring on my finger, right? We had been together. Excuse me, I got this hair that keeps sticking to me. And so this is part two. So if you missed part one, I want you to go back and catch the video for part one that's on my timeline. Those of you on Instagram, those of you on YouTube, so that you can kind of follow the journey. Hey there, chat me blessings to you, woman of God. So part two, so get, definitely catch uh, part one. I'm going to just hit two points here. The, one of the things that I had to do was five key points. And in that, in those points, there are different levels to it. But this one here is deeply letting go. Like really, really, really for real, for real. Like in your heart of hearts, letting that person go. And what does that look like? That meant I had to let go of every fantasy in my head. Every fantasy that I had of any hope of reconciliation. And I know we're men and women of faith out here, whatever. But when God shows you something, in my particular case, I had a dream about 10 days before everything went down. God showed me in a dream. I mean, it was very clear and very, very specific, right? I mean, when I get dreams that I don't have to speculate and I don't have to guess and I don't have to re get my books on signs and symbols when it's just plain. I mean, the dream was like break the engagement. I didn't have to decipher that dream. I didn't need a dream interpretation. I had that dream about 10 days prior. Right. And so when everything ended. And God brought that dream back to my memory. I still had to go through the process of really letting go, even though I knew that this was God and I wasn't going to be trying to go back and I wasn't going to be trying to go back and get make it work. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. I had to deeply let go. So what does that look like? I had to let go of any fantasy and hope for reconciliation. Part of my heart did want that, but part of me was like, no. Oh. And I had to, not only that, and, and a part of that was really letting go of that need, especially if you've been hurt. Of course, there's hurt involved, right? But it's like, he hurt me near the end. Pretty, pretty bad, right? And so not only let, letting him, him go meant forgiveness, and that had to be an act of my will. It wasn't any feelings at that point to be forgiven, right? You know, that we, can, we cannot put spiritual mayonnaise on the, the forgiveness process. We gotta be honest. It's an act of the will. It's an act of the intellect in the beginning. Your emotions and feelings catch up later. But I had to start that process and I didn't get deep enough into that process until I got 
was at the point where I could bless him, like God bless him. And I did get to that point where I meant it. And I had to find the, the love of God, knowing that, okay, I didn't want him to die. I didn't want him to suffer. I had to go there in order to find that grace to be able to bless him. So part of my letting go was that, letting go of the fantasy, letting go of the hope of reconciliation, letting go of that need for him to see me for who I was, to really see all of the goodness of it, right? Blessings to you all that are here live. And as you're joining, definitely as you're, as you're led to do so, feel free to share it. But I had to let go of the need to prove him wrong. Come on, somebody. Right. I had to let go of that need to like show off in front and stunt. Y'all quiet today. Y'all quiet. Y'all sitting here listening. You th th this is the process of what it took for me to heal from a broken engagement. I had to let go of the fantasy of reconciliation. I had to let go of the fantasy to front and stunt. I had to let go of all of that. And I had to forgive. Get you some of that. I had to feel the pain of rejection, mm -hmm. feel that pain, and realize that if he really was the one, and if that was really, really God's best, then it would have never gotten to that point, right? And part of letting go, so this is point number one, all of this is one one key, you guys, of what it took to heal from a broken engagement, th this letting go, which involves forgiveness, which involves letting go of fantasies, which lets, uh, involves letting go of fronting and stunning, trying to show and to prove to that ex what he missed out on. I had to let go of all of that stuff. I had to accept and feel all that pain. I couldn't run from it. I tried, even though I sit here and preach, get real and be healed. The little parts of me tried to, but I knew better. So I kind of catch myself. I'm like, girl, you're going to feel this. You're not going to run. You're not, not going to get super busy and dizzy doing all this extra. You're going to feel this and face your feelings. Why? Because I don't want to repeat the same situation. I wanted to learn my lessons. And to learn the lessons, you got to sit with it for a minute. You just can't go scroll on social media all day and listen to people like me all day and then don't do your own work. You got to do something. You got to sit with your journal, sit with the Holy Spirit, cry, read, write, get therapy, feel all your feelings. Don't get drunk. Don't watch TV. Don't watch it. Get on Netflix. Don't scroll all day on Instagram and YouTube and binge watch YouTube videos. All that's helpful. But at some point, you got to sit by yourself with God. You got to get with a coach or a therapist and really hash some stuff out. That's how you heal. Amen. So also involved in that process of deeply letting go was really beginning to rebuild my self-esteem and that sense of worthiness, because I don't care what anybody says. When you go through a broken engagement, you get ready to commit your life to somebody. You're getting planning to marry somebody and that thing ends. You, you take a blow to your self-esteem. It is a blow to your sense of worthiness. It's a blow. And you need time to rebuild all of that. So I had to do that. I had to start that. I had to look at all the dynamics of the relationship. What happened in that thing and the parts about the whole thing that impacted me. The words that were spoken, how it made me feel, how I functioned, the, the diminishment I received. I had to sit with that, unpack it, and then begin to rebuild again. That's work. It is the process of letting go. So number one, and, and again, I'll be finished. I only got maybe a few more minutes and this. I'm just making these really quick videos because I want to encourage people that are in broken, that are have just ended a relationship. They can see their relationship, see the handwriting on the wall and know that it's getting ready to fall apart. And those of you that have already ended a relationship and now you're trying to pick up the pieces of your life again and you're, you were on fire, you're on purpose, you, you know, you, you know what you're doing, you, you know, you're doing these things and you're out here and now you find your place here. I'm talking to you today. So the second thing, and this is really, really key, really, really key. So it's number one, letting go. And number two, understanding and being in alignment with God's timing 
for your healing process. Being in alignment with God's timing for your healing process. This is huge. So not only, and for me, this is my situation. Not only did I have to heal my heart, my emotions, my mind, but at the same time, I was doing a physical healing process as well with my back injury, where, you know, for a while I was on crutches and then I graduated from crutches to a cane due to my herniated disc in my spine. So here I was at just my relationship was starting to fall apart. Then it ended and we break the engagement. In the meantime, I'm still hopping around on crutches. In the meantime, I'm still in pain here. And so I had to heal the emotions and I still had to heal physically because of my back. And so what I learned, and as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. And so what will happen to me every time I feel a little bit good in my body, oh, I'm walking good. I can walk a little bit fast and I'm, I can put this cane down and try to walk fast. <laughs> How many of y'all know what happened? The minute I try to get too fast and try to do too much, I cre create pain for myself. I'm hurting worse because I try to jump too, I try to move too quick, jump out too fast, walk too fast, do this and do that and be all busy knowing that I'm still healing my back. And I wind up having to sit back down, be out, you know, sit down for two or three days, not really doing much because I'm putting ice on my back because I was trying to be too busy and too dizzy and trying to do too much when I was still healing. Same way it is in matters of the heart. This is really, really important. If you're an influencer, if you're a woman of purpose, a woman achievement, uh, like a goal getter, the hustle, all of that, and you, 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 you endure a heartbreak, and you, but I'm a woman of purpose. I got, and I'm a, I'm a assignment. I'm on my assignment. Well, if your heart's been broken, you need to sit down and have several seats, boo. You need to take a seat. Your heart is not really ready to handle the full weight of the assignment of God on your life. And when you have endured a breaking of a soul tie and your heart has endured brokenness, you have to give time for that healing to seal. And just because you start healing a little bit and start feeling better a little bit, that, that doesn't mean you're ready to run out and launch something. Let me let that one sit. I didn't hear nobody. Just because you're a little bit healed and feel a little bit better from that breakup does not mean you're ready. I learned this the hard way. And so like it was with my back, I had to continue to go to physical therapy. I had to keep doing my physical therapy exercises at home and going to therapy. And then I had to take my time. I could just because I felt better and my, you know, I wasn't getting the tingling and I wasn't having pain shooting down my leg and stuff. Just because I didn't could go a day or two and not feel that, that doesn't, didn't mean I was ready to start running a sprint. But that's what we do. Oh, I feel a little bit better. I'm not having flashbacks. I'm not, I'm not missing the X so much. Oh, I think I'll go out here and, and, and do this big program and have this big thing. Hmm. Take your time. Because you, 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 you predispose yourself to setbacks and flare-ups. And several times. And I'm telling the truth from my experience. Yours may be different, but I'm here to help somebody, right? But several times during my healing and recovery process, I tried to jump too soon, too soon back into business, too soon back into purpose. And I get back out there only to find that I couldn't do the same things and just pick up like, no, I had to take my time. I had to rebuild, heal, let the healing seal and start all over again. You cannot circumvent, circumvent process and you cannot supersede God's timing for your healing season. Let me say that again. You cannot circumvent the healing process and you cannot supersede God's timing for your healing process. 
So those of you that are women of faith, those of you that are women of influence and purpose, when you've undergone, and this may not even necessarily have to be romantic relationships. This could be any traumatic, jacked up experience that hit your heart like a sledgehammer. Don't be so quick to run out and launch some huge program, some huge project. Take your time because there are going to be setbacks and flare-ups as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. Take your time. Let that healing seal. And see, we, we, we mess up a lot of stuff when we jump the gun. We mess up a lot of stuff when we jump stupid too fast, trying to jump too quick before we're fully healed. Now, you can take baby steps. You can prepare. You listen to the Holy Spirit in the time of God for your situation. But I know from my experience, when I tried to jump, I mean, what I'm talking about, what it took to heal from a broken engagement. What for me, every time I tried to jump too quick with my back, I get flare ups trying to walk too fast, trying to go to the mall. And I try to like, I'm going to go to Costco. I'm going to go to Target today. I'm going to go to the mall today and then be sitting at home on an ice pack on my back. Then I do, did the same thing with this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to launch this program and I'm going to do this and blah, blah. Then you don't have the fortitude. So you want to give yourself time to let that healing seal. We mess up a lot of things, jumping the gun, jumping too stupid, thinking we're fine. Think of that we're healed, but we don't have, see what happens is you have to not only be healed, but you need to learn the skills to be healthy. Oh, I said something. We have to let that healing seal, but on top of that, we have to learn new thinking patterns and new ways of taking care of ourselves so that we can stay healthy and be healthy for the next relationship. Right? Just because you've healed from that ex does not necessarily mean that you have what it takes to rebuild and stay healthy so that you don't get sick again. I hope y'all hearing what I'm saying. Just because you've healed from that ex does not mean you've really learned the skills necessary to have a healthy relationship or the skills necessary to really know what got you into it in the, the start with, that you really reflected on how you got there to start with so that you can trust yourself to not attract it again. It's beyond trusting God. You got to trust God, but you got to have enough of knowing who you are and built up enough so that you can trust yourself to not get in another dead end dynamic again. And that's a whole nother level of walking in healthiness. So we get healed, but now we got to come to a place of being healthy. This is why it's so important before when you've come through broken, a broken love relationship, don't be so fast to launch something so quickly. This is key in matters of the heart as it is in the natural. So it is in the spirit. When you break your leg, you have a back injury like the way I did and you go, oh, I broke my leg. It feel a little bit better. I'm not on crutches, but I'm gonna go out here and try to run a mile all fast. See how far you get. Your heart is the same way. Take your time. Take your time. So again, my name is Tanika Maria. I hope this blessed somebody. You guys have been quiet here in the chat, but I trust and believe that something was said that encouraged you and, and made you think. Because we want to get beyond just healing. We want to walk in healthiness. I want to be more than healed. I want to be whole. We're about getting real, being healed, letting that healing seal, and getting the skills so that we can stay healthy. So I am Tanika Maria. Those of you that are catching this at the end, definitely go back and catch the part one video and listen to the beginning of part two. Follow me if you're not following me. Turn on your notifications when I go live. Be sure, and you need this. Those women of faith, I'm speaking to my high achieving women of faith, women of purpose, those that are out here getting your coin, but you got a broken heart out here busting because let me tell you, a broken woman will build a broken business. I'm speaking to my women of faith and purpose. You haven't fully gotten over that ex and you're still having flashbacks and you're still in that soul tie. I need for you to click the link in my bio and sign up and get on the list for the unconscious ways that we block love because this is what you need to hear. And you're going to have, a, it has a free downloadable worksheet, absolutely free. You're going to get a downloadable training and a worksheet to see five more areas that I hadn't even said in this video. 
And I need for you to, hey there, uh, Mary Kay Marva. I need for you to do this. You, you need to do this. Amen. I am Tanika Maria, all about helping you get real, be healed, and move forward. And this is valuable to you. Y'all didn't give any heart, so I must say you guys are here. Share this out and encourage someone with it. I'll be out back out here. I think I got myself scheduled for Wednesday to come out here again. So definitely turn on your notifications, follow me, and I will be out here again soon. Take care and talk to you later. Bye-bye.